In this video, I'm going to cover React, what it is, some core principles of React, some different features of React, and then we're going to go over kind of the job outlook for React versus some other popular front-end technologies, as well as the 2021 Stack Overflow survey that talks about React and some other popular frameworks and kind of where some different developer trends are going. So first things first, what is React? Well, React is a library for building user interfaces. So breaking that down a little bit more, a library is effectively some code that developers created in which other developers can use that code. So it's some pre-written code that some developers created, they tested it, they solve some common problems that you'll run into, and then you can basically install that into your own applications and then use some of that pre-written code that will make things a lot easier on you. And then for the user interface part, well, that is going to be the part of an application that the user actually sees. So here on the YouTube homepage here, it would help you build like these cards that the user interacts with and maybe this sign in button here and this input tab right up here. It would help you build the interface that a user actually sees and the part of an application that a user actually sees. So it's some pre-written code that was created by some other developers, in this case, developers from Facebook, some pre-written code that you can effectively install in your program that will allow you to build an interface that a user interacts with a lot easier. Okay, so that is kind of what React is. Now, what are some principles of React? So this kind of comes straight from their docs. And one of the first principles that they mention is that React is declarative and effectively you tell React what you, you want your page to look like. You basically say, hey, this is the HTML that I want my page to look like. And React will use JavaScript to implement what you want it to look like. You just kind of declare, hey, I want my page to look like this. And then React takes care of all of the DOM manipulation and creating elements, adding classes, all that for you. And in like just vanilla JavaScript, that would be much more what is called imperative to where it's like step by step by step. First, you're going to call document.create element. Then you're going to add a class to that element. Then you are going to append that element to a parent container. And then you're going to make sure that that parent container is appended to the right place in the DOM and so on and so forth. It's very step by step to where React, you're just like, hey, here's what I want my HTML to look like. Just figure out the rest using JavaScript. Okay, so it is a more declarative language compared to just using vanilla JavaScript. And the benefit of this is that it helps improve some predictability. It's easier to debug and React can also optimize this when you declare the HTML you want to look like, it can kind of render things to the page a little bit more optimal than just using vanilla JS. Okay. And then the second principle of React is that it is component based, meaning you are basically going to break your application down into these small components. And in React, a component these days is just going to be a function. And I say these days because there was a more kind of class-based way of working with React and using components that way. But these days, it's mostly just creating a JavaScript function, a regular JavaScript function. And then you basically just return effectively the HTML that you want to render out to your page. And you create these individual components for every part of your app. So here on YouTube's homepage here, you would create individual components for so see these little cards here, these little rectangle cards. Well, in React, I might make a component called, I don't know, rectangle card. That's probably not a good name there, but I would create something along those lines. And then I would just reuse the same component for all of these. And then to my function, which in React, a component is effectively just a JavaScript function. I would pass an argument that might be the title of these components. And then I would pass in a title of subscriptions, daily ideas, keyword inspector. And I would basically just write one component and make that a dynamic component and render different HTML based on the arguments I pass to that component or to that function, just like any other JavaScript function. So this could be a component. These icons up here could all be a component. 
this, these cards here could be components and so on and so forth. So you break your app down into these small individual components, which are just JavaScript functions that can take arguments and you can customize those components. And then you're allowed to reuse these components anywhere throughout your application and allows you to break down these complex apps into easy to use and easy to create components. And that logic is written in JavaScript. These are just JavaScript functions. Additionally, a third principle of React is that you can learn once and write anywhere, meaning React isn't just for web development. You can use React Native, which allows you to build mobile apps. There's also things that you can do on desktop, and you can use React in a lot of different places of a tech stack, and it can be added incrementally to a tech stack. And there's also additional support for server-side React, which is super interesting, which I'll cover in future videos. But those are kind of the three core principles of React. It's declarative, component-based, and you can learn once and write it anywhere. Now, React also has some additional features that make it useful for developers. So one of them is it uses JSX, which is a, a syntax that looks like HTML, but it's actually JavaScript. And this, at first, can feel kind of weird, but I personally love it. Most people come to actually really like this after they get used to it. And this helps make React the declarative language that it is. So I have videos covering JSX in depth, but that is one of the core features of React. It also has a virtual DOM, which effectively allows it to improve performance. It kind of creates this lightweight virtual DOM and we'll kind of compare that virtual DOM to the actual DOM and see kind of the best ways to render things and the most performant ways to render things and stuff like that. So it helps improve performance that way. It has one-way data flow, which makes things a little bit more easy to reason about. So in React, you can think of your application as this like tree-like structure of components to where you have parent and child components, and your data can only flow from parent to child, which kind of makes it a little bit more easy to reason about because you know which way your data is flowing throughout your application. Additionally, React has a very strong community it's been around for a long time. It's been time tested. Really cool applications have been built with it. It's backed by Facebook, which people have different opinions about Facebook. But I think if one thing is true, they have a pretty strong dev team working on this React project and they provide a lot of support for it. So those are some different features of React in addition to those principles we talked about and prerequisites for React. So I would definitely know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before jumping into React. You don't necessarily need to be a expert at any, any one of these, but you should have a good fundamental understanding of how HTML works, how CSS works, and probably especially how JavaScript works. As at the end of the day, React components are just JavaScript functions. Now, there's definitely some React specific stuff that you need to know, but if you don't know any JavaScript, you're going to make it really hard on yourself. So for job outlooks here, I basically went to LinkedIn and I searched different kind of front end library or framework technologies that are very common today. So a couple other technologies are Angular and Vue in the kind of user interface world. These are also pretty common libraries slash frameworks to use. And when searching for this, these results are definitely going to be skewed because just having the word developer in there, like a lot of when I search React developer, I'm probably also going to get search results for some Angular developers and Vue developers and just front end developers in general. But the trend here, at least, is that React is at least one of the highest in job opportunities right now to where it, it had about a similar amount as Angular. And then also it had about double as Vue, which just with my general knowledge of following the space, I would say that it feels like there's the most opportunity right now for React jobs, especially if you would consider React native jobs and some mobile applications as well. But from this, I think the takeaway is that React has a lot of job opportunities and I would say quite possibly the most job opportunities for a user interface library or framework, okay? Now, the final thing I want to touch on is the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, in which 
They basically survey a bunch of different developers. You can see 58,000 responses here. And this is right here. This is the for the most popular technologies. And right at the top, you can see it's JavaScript, which is the language that React uses. And then shortly after that, it is other front-end technologies like HTML and CSS and so on and so forth. But this goes to show that JavaScript is definitely still a very popular language and learning JavaScript to then learn React, it's, it's likely not gonna be a terrible route to go. And then that is databases, but let's go down to frameworks. So as you can see here, if we go to professional developers, it looks like the most popular right now is React JS. And then you can see some other kind of front end technologies here as well, going down the list a little bit. But I would say, you know, this kind of goes with the my intuitive feeling of kind of the state of the front end technologies right now. I feel like React is a very good choice for job outlook and stuff like that. So coming back here, React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It uses the JavaScript language to build the part of the app that a user interacts with. React is a declarative component-based language in which you can learn once and then write in a bunch of different places like mobile applications on the server and stuff like that. React uses JSX, which is an HTML-like syntax that helps make React more declarative. And it also has some other benefits as well. It uses a virtual DOM to improve performance as one-way data flow as a strong community. Before learning React, I would know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It seems as though React is, if not the highest, it is right up there with the most job opportunity. And then as you saw in the developer survey, it is the most popular web framework right now going by this survey. And JavaScript is still at the top of the list of languages to know and most popular languages, which tells me that investing your time into learning JavaScript and React, it's unlikely to be a bad call, okay? So I hope this video kind of described what React is, gave you a good idea of kind of the job outlook and stuff like that. If you're interested in learning more about React, check out my free videos here on my channel, and I'll see you in that next one.